Communication Technology presents Educational Satellite Television Programs Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson on molality. In our last lesson, we learned about normality. We learned that the normality of a solution is the number of equivalents of the solute contained in one liter of solution. We also learned how to determine the normality of a substance using equivalent mass and the number of equivalents. In today's lesson, we will define molality. We will also learn how to calculate the molality of a substance from given information. Shall we begin? The molality of a solution is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent contained in a solution. Students, it is important to note that molal solutions are prepared by measuring masses of solute and solvent. They are not prepared by measuring volumes of solvent or solution. There are two equations that can be used to determine molality. Please copy both of these onto a piece of paper because you will need to refer to them later in the lesson. In the first, molality is equal to the number of moles of solute divided by the weight of the solvent in kilograms. In the second equation, molality is equal to the mass of solute divided by the molar mass of the solute times the weight of the solvent in kilograms. Either of these methods can be used depending on the information you are given. Students, let us do an activity. Molality and molarity sound quite similar, do they not? However, these two terms are actually very different. Using information we have learned in previous lessons, as well as in this lesson, please distinguish between these two concepts. Students, let's get ready. <laughs> Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, students. You were correct to say that molality is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent contained in a solution. In contrast, molarity is the number of moles of solute in one liter of solution. Molality relates moles of solute and mass of solvent rather than moles of solute and volume of solution. Let us continue our lesson by discussing a molality exercise. We will calculate the molality of a solution prepared by dissolving 32.0 grams of calcium chloride in 271 grams of water. We know that the mass of our solute, calcium chloride, is 32.0 grams. We know that the molar mass of calcium chloride is 111 grams per mole. We also know that the mass of the solvent, water, is 271 grams or 0 0.271 kilograms. In order to determine the molality of the solution, what do we need to do? We can use the second equation we looked at earlier. Molality is equal to the mass of solute divided by the molar mass of the solute times the weight of the solvent in kilograms. Thus, molality equals the mass of calcium chloride divided by the molar mass of calcium chloride multiplied by the mass of water in kilograms. 32.0 divided by 111 grams per mole multiplied by 0 0.27 gives us the answer 1.06 molal. Students, now we have worked through the process of determining molality together. You are ready to do it on your own. Calculate the molality of a solution prepared by dissolving 1.45 grams of glucose in 35 grams of water. The molar mass of glucose is 100 and 80.16 grams per mole. Please use the first equation we learned about for this activity. Students, let's get ready. Begin.
time's up. Let's get back to our lesson. Hello again, students. Did you have any trouble completing this activity? Let us work through it together. In order to use the first equation, we need to know the number of moles in our solute. We learned how to do this several lessons ago. We can do this by dividing the mass of the solute by the molar mass of the solute. 1.45 grams divided by 180.16 grams per mole gives us the answer 0 0.008 zero four eight four zero one four mole then to determine the molality we can divide the number of moles in the solute by the weight of our solvent zero point zero zero eight zero Four eight four zero one four mole divided by zero point zero three five kilograms. This gives us the answer zero point two three zero mole. In today's lesson, we learned about molality. We learned that the molality of a solution is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent contained in a solution. We learned that it is quite different than molarity in that molality deals with moles of solute and mass of solvent rather than moles of solute and volume. We also learned how to determine the molality of different solutions using two different equations and the information that was provided. This brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Until next time, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students.